Hi guys, my name is Bianca Cheng and once more we are here with you with the initiative of Punguza. As you know, Punguza, what you're telling people, not advising people not to have sex, but you're telling them to use protection while having sex. So with me right, ha right now we have Dana and Angela and they're going to tell us more about Punguza initiative and all about sex. So I hope you enjoy it. So Dana, tell me what you know about Punguza. So I know Punguza is an uh, initiative for responsible sexual behavior and so what's good about it is you know the statistics even say that there's like 60% of adolescent girls only even though it takes two to tango are having unprotected sex and so what we want to do is we want to make sure that we know you're probably going to have sex we're aware of that but we just want you to take responsibility for it because your safety is your responsibility. Uh, Angela? Well, I just recently learned about Punguza, but I think it's a brilliant initiative. Um, it brings, you know, about candid conversations to the youth. And we're going directly to the youth, getting to know what they know about sex, you know, um, demystifying any, you know, misinformation that they might have because it's so taboo. And so I think today um, and the mission of what you all are doing is amazing because it's all about breaking the taboo, breaking the silence on sex education. Um, and also for myself, uh, I run an in initiative called Heels for Pads. And again, we're trying to break the taboo surrounded around menstruation. Um, so yeah. Let's go hand in hand, to be honest. You know, menstruation, it comes along with puberty and it comes along with those feelings. So Punguza also kind of has to focus on the, the lead up that teenagers go through. Because I think another thing that Punguza does work to acknowledge knowledge is that you go through a very difficult time when you're a teenager you know all of us kind of remember being a teenager and that like the weird feelings we had so I think it's good that there's initiatives out there to address the things that unfortunately in the African context we don't get to talk about enough yeah. mm -hmm. true so you know there's uh, people these days parents are so afraid to talk to their children about sexual intercourse yeah, totally. they're afraid to talk to their children about pregnancies early yeah. pregnancies when a child gets pregnant they chase them away or they talk to them badly but as for that we are here to tell them more about that yeah. so I was I just want you to help me talk to the youth about these sexual intercourses mm -hmm. how to prevent them because we can't stop them from having sex uh, no. very true right we can't be there in the bedroom unfortunately and even what we're telling the the amazing students at Shama school is even if we can't be there in the bedroom our knowledge can be there you know you can still go forward in life with the things that we're gonna teach you okay yeah. What about parents? What should we tell our parents about these sexual intercourses? Because it happens, right? Oh. We can't just prevent it. No. Yeah, it happens, some things happen. Mm -hmm. So what, what can you help me tell the parents if they are watching? I this? think, um, so parents, I think the worst thing you can do is ignore the issue. You know, your yeah. kids are going to grow up and at the end of the day, um, knowledge is power and we want to give our young people confidence. So when they understand their bodies, they understand their, you know, sexual health and, and you know, reproduction system and all that, it empowers them. It makes them feel more confident and when they are in a situation where they need to make good decisions, yeah. they'll be able to if they're equipped with the right tools. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what about you? I agree with her 100%. You know, at the end of the day, knowledge is power. Knowledge is what brings someone power. And even if it's a difficult conversation, I think the more difficult thing is I'd rather have a conversation with my young, with my teenager about sex than have a conversation that they're pregnant. You know, that, that unfortunately, I, I missed what I should have, have gotten as a parent. True. So, like, one word to the youths. What will you tell them, like, as in, as per our initiative, Punguza, what will you tell them? Man, um, <laughs> I would just say it's your body, your health, and your health is your wealth. At the end of the day, um, always equip yourself with the tools and the knowledge that you have. And it's your body, so you have the right to, um, you know, make responsible decisions. So do that. <laughs> <laughs> your health is your wealth. And you? I would agree, you know, your safety is your responsibility, you know, nobody else's but yours. Yeah, your safety is your responsibility. So thank you so much, Dana and Angela.